Good morning, Ivor here and welcome to walk number seven. Today I'm at Pugnies Country Park which just lies off the A636 Denverdale Road approximately two miles from Wakefield City Centre and only one mile from Junction 39 of the M1 motorway. Pugnies, which was the site of an open cast mine and former sand quarry, opened to the public in 1985. The park comprises of two lakes. This lake, which is dedicated to non-powered water sports, and a smaller lake at the far side, which is designated as a nature reserve. Today we're going to walk around the larger lake and head up to the ruins of Sandal Castle in the background, which played a significant part in the Battle of Wakefield during the War of the Roses conflict. Follow me. We're now arriving at the ruins of Sandal Castle. This is the entrance from the field. <laughs> oh, that's lazy. You could have... <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a lazy way around. <laughs> The War of the Roses conflict started during the reign of the incompetent King Henry VI. Richard, who was the Duke of York and father to Richard III, made claim to the throne along with his rival and cousin, Edmund Beaufort, the second Duke of Somerset. In 1455, Richard started the War of the Roses in the Battle of St Albans, in which Beaufort was defeated and killed. In 1460, Queen Margaret recruited Lancastrian noblemen and their troops from all over the country in Scotland to fight the Duke of York, and on the 30th of December 1460, the Duke of York and his troops left the sanctuary of this castle, marched down Many Gates Lane and fought on open ground, where he was killed and his army defeated. The nursery rhyme, O Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men is thought to relate to Sandal Castle, although no one knows for sure. The castle fell into disrepair and was later destroyed during the English Civil War some 190 years later. Now 
looking down at the ruins. In front of you is Pugnes. In the far distance you might be able to just make out Emily Moor Mast. This direction is Barnsley. And then this is Wakefield. You can see, or you may be able to see the cathedral. There's not much left of the castle unfortunately. It was ransacked during the Civil War. It's a beautiful walk. It will take you approximately one hours, one to one and a quarter hours to walk from Pugnes up to the castle and depending on which time you spend at the castle and then back down again and then round and back to the car park. Okay, we'll go back down and we'll have a short walk around the perimeter of the castle. There is a cafe over here which opened several years ago. So some served some delicious food and coffee. That recently reopened, I think it reopened in July after the Covid outbreak. We're now leaving Sandal Castle and heading back towards Pugnes. Follow me. And we're coming back towards Pugnes Lake now. So we're going to take a left and carry on clockwise around the lake and then back to the car park.
So there we go everyone, that concludes my walk of Pugnes and Sandal Castle. As you can see, I'm enjoying the fruits of my labour with an ice cream. If you are a wheelchair user or you've got young children in pushchair, I would recommend just coming to um, Pugnes and going all the way around the lake. If you want to see the castle separately, then you can access the castle via Many Gates Lane. If you enjoy my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. My name is Ivor. Peace.